Hey, YouTube, what's up? Well, I'm here at my sister's house and uh, got a chance to pull some of my pipes out. Here's like 25 or 30 pipes, no particular order. I just loaded them in a bag, brought them from my house. And now I brought the bag out here. I got three more bags with about this many pipes in it. So this is gonna be video one. They're no particular order, so you may find in the third video there might be a $2 pipe. So, here's the table. I took them all out and I'll show you each one very quickly. I'm going to try to keep it like 10 minutes. Okay. Okay, sorry about all the wiggling. Let's see what we could do here. Okay, let's see if I can grab these without making a mess. Okay, this is a custom built, very large pipe. Okay, very large, huge pipe, very good condition. Custom built. Okay. Basically, here's a Dr. Graybow. Okay. I was going to bring a tape measure out with me. Here is a Joe Case. This I got from Made a Deal with Pat Pope. This is a Graybow. Uh, Starfire or Spitfire? or Starfire or uh, Starfire. This is a uh, K. Woody, number 45. This is a, uh, y'all know these, unsmoked. Mark Balkovic. I had contacted him and asked him to make me a pipe. Eric Ganey. Devil's Ants. Natural. Very nice grains. Very nice sandblast. Unsmoked. Bulls coated. Nice little pocket pipe. Eric Ganey. You can pause that if you'd like. Chris Morgan cigar. I was able to acquire this from uh, Public Piper. He actually gave me a very good deal on it. Morgan Pipes. Phil Rivara, my buddy. This is, I think, one of the first pipes I had him make for me. I wanted a pipe for the job. I was working at the range. Smooth top, billiard. He put in a shotgun shell in the bottom. Incorporated a shell in the top. The shank, unsmoked also. They're just too beautiful to smoke. With that, I had him make me an extra bit. And he made me a tamper also, out of a bullet. So thank you, Phil, for that. Mirsham. And smoked. SMS. Miniature. Mirsham. Unsmoked, Peacock, this one's like an acorn shape, 
Meerschaum, unsmoked. This one's SMS. These are all vintage. And this one is a nice size, very full size, extra large size. This one's been smoked about once or twice, you can kind of see. Very nice pipe. This is SMS also. This is a blowfish from uh, Mario Grande. This one has been smoked. Uh, I bought it that way. It's been smoked a couple times. Very big size pipe. Boswell's. I believe I got this from uh, Pat Pope. I believe I got this from Pat Pope. Uh, I just noticed a crack in the shank. I'll have to check and see if it goes all the way through. But, uh, Probably wasn't like that. I'd almost guarantee it wasn't. Uh, very nice, pretty pipe. So Boswell's 2000, 2013, 2013, I think. I gotta check that out. See how far that crack goes. <clears throat> This is a very old Savinelli that I had uh, Briarville Rick, Rick Farah, uh, redo for me. He said this pipe been smoked and smoked and smoked. You can see the inside the bowl is huge. I mean, it, where it's been scraped out, it's just really, it's got the two dot. Barely read the numbers underneath. He redid the bowl, reamed it, refurbed it. So I haven't smoked that. If I smoke any of them, this is, will be the one I smoke and kind of get this one retired, but very nice. Hackard pot shape. Actually, I just acquired this uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, 2015. The uh, pot shape, unsmoked. Pause that if you'd like. Put a note. Thank you, Daniel, for your purchase. Enjoy. Best regards, Jake. Thank you, Jake Hackard. EA Carry Magic Inch or EA Carry. These are the metal pipes. Four bowls, unsmoked, uh, in the box with filters, stuff like that. These are the Rossi. They're by Savinelli. They'll, you know Rossi, just look them up. I won't get into all the details. This is their 8320 shape. There's a few of you that got these out there. Smooth shape, unsmoked. Rossi. These are all Rossi. And this is another Rossi Vittoria, rusticated. They're almost identical pipe. One's just rusticated and one isn't. This is a Rossi Vittoria, also rusticated. This one is a Rossi Vittoria, also like the prints, a print shape, unsmoked. All these are unsmoked. So there's three Rossi's. These were on sale at Pipes and Cigars. It's the Harlequin or Harkin or whatever by Stanwell. They had a special on these. You get the zipper pouch. You get a Dr. Graybo zippo zipper pouch. You get the Harlequin pipe, which the bowl, you can, the bowls, I believe, come off. And you get a little pipe tamper. And I forgot what it was. Uh, 
Harlequin Pipe Starter Kit. Trying to find the price for you. I think it was 30, with shipping and everything, it was like, it was on sale 34 or $29. I think it was $29. And that's brand new. Dr. Grabo, freehand, unsmoked, freehand. This one, I didn't show you this one. Yeah, this is a stem biter K Woody, unsmoked. Very nice pipe. And this is a 88, 88 or 30, 33 shape. This is a Mastercraft, like a Levat, Algerian Briar, unsmoked also. Nice little pipe, unsmoked, brand new, new old stock. You know, these are like $8 pipes with the box instructions and all that, unsmoked, bent. Duncan Hill, I guess that's close as I can get to a Dunhill. Unsmoked, bent. This is a one I acquired for a very good price. There's a hairline crack on the inside of the bowl. It's a Peterson spigot. It's a hairline crack, and I got it really cheap. You know, everybody knows these pipes are a lot of money, a spigot. Sterling Silver Band. Uh, it says Sterling Silver something Dublin, Ireland of Dublin of Ireland or something. Uh, I don't know the shape. It's like a pot shape. Very nice pipe. I, this one is an estate pipe, of course, but I, I'm probably not going to smoke it. And then these, um, this is a, a this is a custom built, a small custom built, like a little pocket pipe. It's almost the size of a little pocket devil ants. This one. Bull nose. This is a Tom Howard. This is a state pipe, cleaned up, smoked very little. And I've went through and cleaned all these up also. Very nice pipe. This one I got off of uh, Birdman, 5691 I believe. This is the uh, Algerian Briar, I don't know how to say the name, EHR. R L I C H. Very nice pipe, very good condition. He has very good deals. Here is a uh, bent one, same pipe maker. Bent, full size pipe, very good condition. I cleaned them up. So, and I think that's it for this video. I'm sure it went over 10 minutes, but I'm going to be continue to do these videos, and uh, I will probably post one a week, uh, so you don't get burnt out on seeing them. So this is my first uh, video of my collection, and I got like maybe three more bags of, of this pipes. I'm not going to show all my estate pipes that I refurbed uh, and cleaned up. Um, I got like. 60 of those. I got like 40 cobs. Um, I'm not going to show those. Uh, and some other pipes. I'm not going to show those. The ones all in my rotation, the old pipes that you see me smoke all the time, I'm not going to show those. These are just my collection and uh, all the uns mostly unsmoked are in ones that are in very good shape. So, and, and, you know, I appreciate everybody asking to see them because I wasn't going to. It's just, I don't know. Uh, but there was a lot of interest in the community on uh, me showing my collection. So that's why I'm showing it. So I want to thank everybody out there. Until next time, look forward to the other video. Bye now.